Teenagers in Hong Kong have invented a door handle coated with titanium dioxide that when activated by LED light kills 99.8% of all bacteria. And engineers at Binghamton have invented a bacteria-powered paper battery that folds like origami and costs five cents. Vsauce, Kevin here. This is Mind Blow. The Think Mood Regulator is a wearable headset that allows you to control your moods. Transcranial direct current stimulation has been around for over 100 years, and a team of engineers, doctors, and neurobiologists have created a consumer model. The wearable device is intended to induce mental relaxation or temporarily increase alertness by using neurosignaling. It was just released this month, and it's not intended to diagnose or treat any medical condition. The Handy Hackberry is a 3D printed open source robotic hand. The Japanese company has made the blueprints and source code freely available, and it features a flexible wrist, grasping and picking action differentiation, and only costs $300. Pembian is hoping to prevent the extinction of rhinos by 3D bioprinting their horns. The western black rhino went extinct in 2011 due to poaching for its valuable keratin. The horns that Pembian are printing are indistinguishable from the real thing, even down to the molecular level. And they hope to significantly lower the value of rhino horns by introducing the product to the market later this year. Researchers from Columbia University have created the world's thinnest light bulb. By using a graphene coating that can withstand temperatures as high as 2500 degrees Celsius, they're able to build a filament that's atomically thin but able to generate visible light. And they hope to build circuits that use photons instead of electrons to pave the way for large-scale, flexible, atomically thin, transparent light emitters. Another team at Columbia University built a miniature car powered by the air's natural humidity. Using microscopic moisture-sucking spores, they were able to build a turbine engine that rotates as water evaporates. Evaporation is a stronger force than wind or waves, and has previously been untapped from an energy perspective. The team believes this breakthrough could someday lead to generating energy via natural evaporation. Project Soli makes your hand a controller. Google released this video a few weeks ago highlighting how the system works. Radar has a very high positional accuracy which allows it to track minute movements better than a camera. And it's unique in that it can transmit and receive information through solid materials. The chip has already been built and the team is currently testing how it can be integrated into consumer products. Engineers at Harvard have developed a soft robotic glove to help the disabled grasp objects. Designed for sufferers of ALS, muscular dystrophy, and stroke, the glove is soft and lightweight, and it's powered by pumping water into the fibrous joints. Currently, it's activated by voice command or switch, but the team is working to improve the device so that it can detect when to grasp based on the user's arm movements. A group of chemists and engineers have invented a neural lace. Small enough to be injected, brain cells have been found to grow around and connect to the lace, successfully creating a mechanical connection into a biochemical system. The neural lace has only been tested on mice as of now, but someday could be used to treat Parkinson's or create a wireless connection between a brain and the internet. Scientists from Australia have proven that at a subatomic level, future events affect the past. They shot helium atoms at a sensor and then randomly inserted a grate into where the helium atoms had just been. When they checked the data, they found that the helium atoms reacted as though they passed through the grate even though the grate had been placed after they were shot, proving for particles time moves backwards and quote, reality does not exist if you are not looking at it. New sauce. I've come to protect Kevin from the T-1000. Uh, Terminator? I was just finishing Mind Blow. Come with me if you want to live. Okay, well, I gotta go because I would like to live, so check out these miniature star-shaped robots that are being developed to perform surgery. And as always, thanks for watching. These starfish-like microgrippers perform biopsies. Developed at Johns Hopkins University, the star-shaped devices can measure less than a millimeter from tip to tip. The arms close around tissue when exposed to a body's heat, performing a miniature biopsy.